you know, I'd said for quite some time that I was ready to change the way my bag was set up, but it was this club that made me make that change. Now, first of all, let's start by talking about what that change was, and quite simply, I had been spouted on on this channel for quite some time that long irons are difficult to play and more and more average golfers should be stopping at maybe a five iron um, as their longest iron in the bag. On a personal level, I was ignoring that advice a little until now. And this club is what made that change, that ball flight is what made that change and it's become an absolute no-brainer. I cannot believe I did not do this sooner. Now, before I reveal the club in question, I just want to talk about the process that got me to this point and make this decision. And that was, of course, custom fit. Back in February, I went through that whole process. Um, probably a year or so since I'd done it. And what I realized was my five iron was no longer performing in the way perhaps that I thought it was. And in terms of performance, in terms of data, it was telling me I needed to consider a change. And when they put this club in my hand, show me the performance data and numbers, it was, as I've already said, a no brainer. That club was, of course, a hybrid. But in saying that, not just any old hybrid. So in today's video, I'm gonna do one simple thing that explains you A, what this hybrid is and why I decided to replace it in terms of my five iron, my four iron that's also gone. Yes, the longest iron in my bag is now a six iron. I've replaced not one iron, but two. That means I've replaced it with two hybrids. What are they and why do I think these particular hybrids are so special and why you should also be considering doing exactly the same with your bag setup. So the hybrids in question are in fact from PXG, they're their Gen 6 lineup, but there are some very different options to choose from within it. And I perhaps went down a strange route, one that I have perhaps didn't think I would. And that choice was based on the style and uh, type of profile that I chose, because essentially the Gen 6 lineup offers two head shapes. One is the 0311, I suppose the smaller, more compact, more players-like version, if you like. The second option is the 0311 XF, extreme forgiveness, bit more of a bulky profile, maybe the more forgiving as the name suggests, and maybe the sort of uh, the game improvement area. I would not really have thought that I would chose that option, but in terms of performance, one thing it did was live up to its name. It was extremely forgiving. But more importantly than that, it was the way this thing looked at a dress, which was the big thing that made me make the decision between the two. Now, of course, they do say that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But if you're looking at these pictures now and you can tell me that you don't like the look of this hybrid, then uh, I will be very surprised. For me, it is arguably the best looking hybrid I have seen. And I'll tell you why. And it's for a number of reasons, not just aesthetically. And we haven't even begun to talk about the performance of this thing yet, which is super impressive. Well, let's talk about aesthetics first of all. And we'll start with that crown because it's, uh, that's the bit that is so appealing in a number of ways. I always talk about the fact that I love a matte finish, whether that be driver, fairy woods, or in this case, the hybrid. But they've done something just a little bit special here, in my opinion. Yes, it's a matte crown, but I also love that sort of stepped element in terms of the front of the face that X marks the spot in terms of the center of the club face, superb and strong alignment aid. But it also helps you to square that club face up, that line across the front, that step, if you like, in the front uh, of the face allows the alignment to just be a little bit easier. And then in that back side, well, they've just done that sort of matte carbon-like look as I always describe it as and then there's a little bit of uh, well a few lines is the simplest way of explaining it a bit of detail around the back side of the shaping which again accentuates the profile I just think it looks absolutely superb I cannot criticize that in one bit and like I said I think it's the best hybrid that is on the market visually right now. But I said it wasn't just about aesthetics and what I was referring to was the shape and profile of the XF model in particular. 
The standard 0311, which you're looking at right now, is what I would call a traditional hybrid, the better players hybrid, if you like. Smaller, more compact, and maybe a little bit more like what we're used to seeing. What I like what manufacturers have done of late and what PXG have done with the 0311 XF is they've made the, um, the shaping and the profile almost like a mini fairway wood. So there's a little bit more bulk and mass. And when I'm looking at that, what I'm feeling first of all is a huge amount of confidence. It says to me one thing, and just go easy with this thing. Let the club do the work. You've got a five iron in your hand. You've got a five hybrid in your hand. And this thing has got some bulk and mass. It's got some CG, some forgiveness. That's going to do all the things that you would love your five iron to do. But you just do not have the club head speed to make that thing perform anymore. So step up with this XF0311 hybrid. And trust me, as we've seen with a couple of shots so far, it is an unbelievably good club to have in the bag from an aesthetics point of view and from a confidence inspiring point of view in terms of that shape and profile. Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Hot Golf, the online golf mega store bringing you the hottest deals in golf and of course the clubs featured in today's video. Find the link to the Hot Golf website in the description below and check out some incredible giveaways and offers. Now, I did mention in that clip that uh, I referred to a five hybrid, which is what I've got underneath this head cover, which I've mentioned on numerous occasions as well, are the best head covers there are right now. They're super soft, great quality, and others should be taking a lead from this. But I've got two hybrids, as I mentioned in the bag. This five hybrid is replacing my five iron. It's 25 degrees in loft, and then, I've got another hybrid in the bag, which is 22 degrees in loft, a four hybrid. Obvious changes in terms of direct replacement, in terms of loft, but what each of them do is like I've said on numerous occasions, replace those long irons with the same carry distance, but with a far different launch, a far different descent angle, and uh, a far different spin number, to be quite honest with you. And they hit all the parameters that, like I said, I would ideally like to be able to achieve with a five or a four iron. But I've got to that stage in my own personal game where I'm thinking, and you keep telling people, make this game easier. And yet for some reason, you continue to carry, well, a five iron at least, and many times a four as well. But um, these clubs, oh my word. I cannot believe just how easy these things pick the ball up and how fast the ball speeds are. The ball flight is exactly what you'd want it to be. The control is there. Hopefully you notice from the tempo and rhythm of the swing that I'm not forcing these things at all. And I just know if I had my five iron in that same situation, I'm swinging a whole lot faster to try and generate the distance and ball speed that I require. And you know what that comment I made about rhythm and tempo when using hybrids as opposed to long irons is another good reason to change as daft as it sounds and that's irrelevant of which model you go for but like I said it's a mentality thing where you just start to slow down a bit and let the club head do all the work and when you've got the confidence in the head which I have right now in terms of ball speed I know I don't need to put a great deal of effort into this thing and like I said it's going to launch high it's going to land soft and it's going to cover the distance that I'm looking for. I mean, and it's also, it's just so much fun. It's just easier. You know, I ain't struggling right now. I'm just enjoying life. I'm swinging this club nice and easy. I've got to admit, out the two hybrids that I've got in the bag, the one that I keep reaching for is this number five, 25 degrees, because it's an absolute weapon in terms of its performance just all round everything you'd want from a golf club is packed into this thing and the number one thing that it breeds is confidence i'd also like to bring up the point about um well people's fear of using hybrids because they struggle to not get them going left if you like uh, there can be certainly a lot of closed face hybrids about and 
can be an issue, I understand that, but I will also say that in this year's release from every brand, I think there's been a difference in terms of the way these clubs have been put together. They've recognised that's been an issue in the past and without doubt, that is, for the large majority of what I've tested, that is not a big deal. And I would urge anyone, don't dismiss hybrids based on your previous experience. Maybe try out one of these newer models from, like I said, any brand and I'm sure you'll find that they've um, well they've done their very best to stop that being an issue which I think everybody recognizes it was I ain't finding that anymore now one other point to reference and certainly why I chose this XF model was the soul of this club and not uh, necessarily aesthetics on this occasion although I would certainly pick this one up off the shelf but it's those two silver raised elements those little bars that certainly we've seen in other clubs in the past and what they do is they're slightly raised from the sole and they supposedly help with turf interaction now I've no scientific proof or data that I can tell you that is a concept that works but I know for me on a personal level and we've seen a few picked up off the fairway I I certainly like the way this thing sort of slides interacts with that turf who knows could be a purely mental issue but also that weighting system that has become a very predominant feature in what PXG do these two weights have basically been pushed back as far as they can in a heel and toe position to give extreme forgiveness and that CG as far back as they can place it to aid in terms of launch now I'm not saying I'm a player that necessarily requires that assistance in launch I hit a high ball anyway but for me the setup like I said absolutely perfect but there are in the 0311 a number of other different permutations that can make it a very different performing club if you wish but for me like I said extreme forgiveness is what most average golfers should be looking for well, this video is supposed to be sort of twofold almost in the sense that one, it's a review of the PXG Gen 6 hybrid, but also an explanation as to why I think hybrids in general, and in particular, like this one, lofted hybrids are so important for average golfers. And I always talk about flexibility in your bag. The five hybrid to me has got a lot of flexibility in terms of par threes, par fours, uh, long shots into greens and then in and around greens in terms of a chip shot now I always say that a hybrid in general is a good option for this type of shot but the fact that this has got 25 degrees of loft it just presents so much more at the ball that it becomes uh, perhaps again a little bit more confidence inspiring and even though I got a little bit of ground before ball that is pin high and gives me a chance of making up and down and if you've got any issues with your short game and that type of shot can be a little bit scary you certainly wouldn't be using your five iron and chances are if you're struggling with your nine or your wedge that might be a little stabby one which is what I essentially just hit there but those little rails helped me out slid across the turf and now we've got a chance of making par so not only are hybrids good for the obvious parts of the game, they also offer plenty of flexibility in your bag. Now, as ever, I always like input from you and uh, so do your fellow golfers. So get down in that comment section below. A, tell me what you think of these uh, PXG Gen 6 hybrids. Uh, maybe some of you have tried them, so I'd love feedback there. But also tell me your thoughts on what hybrids you've got in the bag at the moment. Are they performing well? And I suppose essentially, would you recommend that your fellow golfer tries them? Because that's all I ever want to do in this comment section is uh, get everybody communicating together. And if you found a particularly good product, then uh, well, share it with your fellow golfers and uh, let them know what's going on. Right, this next tee shot you're going to see me hit is with the 4, the 22. And again, good ball flight. Nothing too different to what you'd expect, like I said, from hybrids in terms of uh, ball flight, but distance cover and ball speeds with such an easy swing. Time and tempo has been the one key takeaway for me on the course this morning. Been really, really good and pleased with the performance. And uh, I will just mention the gap in between the four and the five is again good yardage difference. Again, what you'd expect. I've got sort of 15 yards maybe difference between the two. And I just can't do that with a five and a four iron anymore. My distances are very, very similar with those two clubs in hand. So again, there's a bit of gap in there that also really works. But I just think what PXG have done right now. I would say 
possibly produce the perfect hybrid and what I mean by that they've took every element that you as a golfer would ask for put it into a package and uh, delivered because and maybe that's my uh, ultimate request I suppose then maybe it's not yours but in terms of that profile massive box ticked a little bit bigger um, shaping superb looks wise aesthetics from above unreal then you've got that rail system which helps with the turf interaction which I firmly believe is a thing and then you've got that weighting system particularly in the XF that allows for ultimate forgiveness and that placement of CG to help with launch in the 0311 range you've got maybe a little bit more tinkering that can be done in terms of uh, that custom fit element getting it exactly right for you these are adjustable in terms of their loft sleeve I'm not really sure what else we could ask for in a hybrid which begs the question where do we go next because I don't think there's much room for improvement if any in these things in my opinion sound and feel again is really really good so yeah they've done a great job but my thing is right now as we got with drivers we've now moved into fairways and hybrids where brands have paid a lot of attention in maximizing potential and performance and i think we're pretty much there with this hybrid it is the ultimate hybrid in my opinion and one that you should definitely give a go anyway that's me done as ever i always appreciate you watching supporting the channel if you don't subscribe then please consider doing so it's an unreal stat but i think something like 65 maybe 70 percent of people who, who watch the channel on a regular basis don't subscribe and just a reminder it is free and it's a huge help if you would consider doing that as ever get involved in that comment section below and uh, that's me done i'll see you tomorrow night